All right, well, this is a great story here. A 19 year old in Tempe, she has found a really a newfound confidence all because a dentist fixed her smile. As Kim Powell reports, she's gone through most of her life covering up her mouth with her hand whenever she laughed, but not anymore. Two months ago, you could feel the anxiety radiating from Caitlin Judd as she sat with her hands clenched together in the dentist chair. She was shy and scared, and if she even thought about cracking a smile, she covered up. <laughs> when Caitlin was a baby, all the teeth were, the baby teeth were rotten, and they just kind of rotted through to the adult teeth, and the adult teeth started rotting, and it's been an issue for her her entire life. She just hides her smile, um, no confidence. How Caitlin got to contemporary dentistry in Tempe is all thanks to her older sister. In March, she brought her to Hope Fest, looking for just a glimmer of, well, hope. And the dentist office had a booth set up. We were trying to help people maybe remove teeth, basic fillings and composites. And Caitlin was a little bit bigger situation and she wouldn't even open up for me. When he went to look in her mouth, she was really nervous about um, just all the people who were there seeing. And so she took off and, and ran away. Dr. Trent Smallwood eventually convinced the 19 year old to give him a smile and he suggested they meet at his office for a more thorough exam. He knew he had a chance to change Caitlin's life. And I could tell there's this like, kindred spirit with Caitlin and I could tell that there was this this part that wants out but she just has had a, some difficulties over, over her life and, and and her teeth have been a big part of it. So he got to work free of charge. All right sweetie I want you just to go ahead and bite all the way down on those back teeth. Good. Caitlin had a rough start at life. Her father is in prison and her mom died suddenly in December. Caitlin hasn't been to the dentist since she was 13 years old. My mom took her to appointments trying to get things done, but either money, time, whatever, it just never got finished. Her sister says that Caitlin has been disappointed so much in life that she didn't think she was really going to get a new smile. But by the second appointment with Dr. Smallwood. You doing okay? We're really looking awesome. She got an idea of just how beautiful her future might be. She may have been too numb to smile, but she couldn't help but take a peek at the temporary crowns. After several hours in the dentist chair, multiple appointments, and $17,000 worth of reconstruction, Caitlin finally has the smile she's always wanted. Here we go. Ready? And take a look. <laughs> <laughs> of course, she couldn't pass up getting her makeup professionally done to show off her perfect teeth. And now, everyone is smiling ear to ear, even Caitlin. Very grateful for him for doing this for me and my sister, because without her, we would have never gone. They say it's the little things that make this such an incredible blessing, like eating. I'll be able to eat corn on the cob like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> and I think over the next few weeks, she'll start to wake up and go, the smile's still there. It wasn't a dream. It's still there. I'm still excited. And now maybe I can open up some opportunities and some doors for her. It gives her a hope and a future. Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.